Good D there. Knocking away the pass. Tigers looking to tie or take the lead with a three. Nice paces by Will Barton. I thought he was going to go and look for his opportunity. The leadership. And I jinxed him. But the freshman gets the rebound, only to lose it to the senior. Boy, they are letting him play. A lot of contact. So Johnson with the ball and a one point lead. Goes right by. Travel. Wow. Johnson comes in and make him finish over the top. Good defense by the Tigers. Well, the Tigers looking for the lead on the road. Jackson stops, pops. Can't hit. Coach Pascal looking to run some more clock and get more of an offensive set on that possession. Sanders loses it. I mean, Crawford Barton's up and running with it. So the Blazers go back up by three. Both teams in the bonus. Let's see what Coach Pastor wants to call on this set. And if his players execute. Coleman soars above more. Why not every trip, Coach Bardo? The game is not hard. Players make it difficult. They make it more difficult than it has to be. He has 13. Joe Jackson is all over Aaron Johnson here in the second half with three and a half to play. A share of first place in Conference USA on the line. UAB looking for its first win over Memphis since 2006. That one. He makes it. And he hits them both. So UAB is three minutes and 15 seconds away from its first win over Memphis since March of 2006. That's nine straight losses. Also looking to improve to 10 and 0 at home, but Crawford knocks it down. Nine straight wins. Right now, Mike Davis is looking to get Jamar San Sanders going. I'm not so sure I wouldn't run something for Cameron Moore. This is when you hope the senior the veteran leadership in the home court takes over, but Memphis has not backed down at all. Chris Crawford doing a really good job of making Jamar Sanders uncomfortable. And Jackson shutting off. Johnson, key loose ball, and it comes up for Black. Now Jackson puts on the brakes, realizing he had no numbers at all. 2.24 to play, all even at 62. Two timeouts left, left for the Tigers. Black gets it. So, too strong. Johnson tracks it down. Nice high, high pick and roll here. The senior keeps the dribble alive. He stops, kicks it out to Moore. Well off. Loose ball. Who wants it? Fields there for the putback. He's one and three in conference. So after the stoppage in the action, Jackson brings it up. Black and Coleman on the floor for Memphis. As they go big. There's Barton. Nice pass to Black and one. Knocks it down. What pressure. Sometimes they say ignorance is bliss. Let's see if that holds true for the Tigers. Jackson all over Johnson. Now more. And they try to get it to Sanders. Off the cut. Sanders attacks the hoop. Well, that's a good job of UAV getting it to their main man in space and letting him create. One minute left. Memphis down by one on the road. Barton, open. Senior point guard. Exactly right, because in addition to Sanders and Moore, Johnson can beat you off the bounce. 
Here's Sanders looking for Criswell. Counterparts on the other side of Dunn. <laughs> Yet, but try to get a double team in the backcourt and make Joe Jackson give up the basketball, but they're not going to do that. If you're Coach Pastner and you got a young team, do you take a timeout to make sure you're on the same page, or do you want to hold on to that? I think he's, he's given them a couple different plays in the last timeout, so they know what they're looking for right here. Up by one. About an eight-second differential on the game in shot clock. Jackson gets called for out of control. He runs to make Johnson pick up the ball. Shot clock is off. UAB has two timeouts left. And Coach Davis wants to take one. Sanders to inbound. He's going to have to burn another timeout. Black on Moore. Johnson now gets it in his hands. Under 14. Carmuch fights through two screens. Johnson. Wipe off the basket. Beating Memphis. He can. So now a chance to win it. Carmuch in trouble. Barton walked. Barton walked. That's a little surprising. Best shooter. He's going to get it back. Let's it go. Good if it goes. Way they did, but both teams have new life here in the, in the overtime period. So we'll re jump. Antonio Barton, number two out there for Memphis. He hasn't played in a while. Barton enjoying the game. He just looked at Steven and said, I didn't travel. And what I tell him. <laughs> yes, yes, you did. did. <laughs> yes, you did. Maybe not on the playgrounds of Baltimore, but in Division I hoops, that's a travel. So now. Crawford. The long skip pass to Barton. 15 to shoot. Black wants it. Barton had Black on the post. Now 10. Crawford's going to pull up and take another long three. Short. Barton over the top. No whistle. Now they're letting him play. Crawford thought about it again. This time he drives. Kick out. Antonio Barton. Fields keeps it in, but sure, as the season goes along. Here's Black. Now Crawford. You got four freshmen on the floor for Memphis right now, and they're playing with poise and toughness on the road. 20 to shoot for Crawford. Finds Barton wide open. Great look. Outside defense trying to sag in and help on the post. Antonio Barton recognizing, slipping behind the defense. Here's Sanders. Long three. Short. Fine. Right, was that? We're going to play together. Moore with the rebound. I wouldn't be surprised if Aaron Johnson. Trying to get the paint off the bounce because they are Dean Sanders up very well here in the last few minutes. Crawford all over him, running through screens, looking for more. Now he's trapped. Now Sanders has it. 15 to shoot. Sanders doubled. Moore takes the long two. Barton with the rebound. So credit Memphis with playing some great defense so far here in the overtime. Now, how patient are they on the offensive end? Well, they've got both Black and Coleman in, so they are big up front. Crawford out to Will Barton this time. Had too much time to think about it. They say, Amy, you study long, you study wrong. <laughs> he couldn't believe how open he was. So UAB going back to their one of their sets. Trying to spread the floor a little bit. Sanders trying to post up. Stead Fields open. That won't go down. The home rims not being kind to the Blazers here tonight. Boy, and they've gotten some good looks. And that time, Fields wide open at the easiest three-point shot in the game, right at the top of the key. Now one of 18 from behind the arc. Sanders. Good defense, kicks it out to Johnson, extra pass, Fields. Again, it doesn't go down. One of 19. Sometimes. Doing all but going down. Yeah, sometimes your shots just don't fall. 
But if they're one of 19, they're only down three in overtime. They're doing a lot of good things to be in this game. Here's Antonio Barton running the show in overtime on the road. Good patience by Memphis. Now 10. Coleman comes out for a high screen. Barton to his brother. Five to shoot. He doesn't recognize it. Three. He's backing up. He's going the wrong way, and he won't get it off. On the shot attempt, he could have very easily been called for a foul and given Memphis three free throws that time. Okay, this will be the misdirection for Jamar Sanders coming along these two screens. UAB still looking for something on the offensive end here in overtime. Sanders, another long three. With 18 seconds left in the shot clock, he let that one go. One of 20. March 2nd, 2006, the last victory over Memphis for UAB. So again, still a one possession game, so the Tigers need to score. And Barton does just that. Reset the clock to just over 45 seconds left. How quickly do you have to go on this possession? You have to go quick, but you don't have to settle for a three. Nice job of getting to the hole. Now you don't want to foul until they get over half court. Now you got to foul them. Well, will that be an intentional black? Says, take that, Eamon. All you need to know about number 10, already named a co-captain as a freshman. And he shows some leadership there. UAB in a jam. Johnson gets rejected by Black. A takeaway by Barton. Time to come back on the next possession. So it's a six-point ball game coming up after this. It's the 2011 Australian Open presented by Franklin Templeton Investments. Johnson quickly into the paint. Kicks it out to Moore, open, and he gets the round, gets the roll. Crawford gets it into Will Barton. And he... Short, don't give up a quick hoop. And he misses them both. UAB out of timeouts. Johnson, they give it to him, and he loses it. Kicks it out for the tie. And they can't put it away. So Johnson with one last chance. Sanders fumbles it. Good if it goes. Memphis wins its 10th in a row over UAB as the Tigers win it 76-73 in overtime. If you want more college basketball, tune in to Michigan State versus Purdue currently on ESPN. Coming up next. It's live Australian Open Tennis presented by Franklin Templeton Investments. For Stephen Bardo and our entire ESPN2 crew, I'm Eamon McEnany. Now let's go to Australia for Australian Open Tennis.